question for tonight. My legal question is, I had a distribution charge. Mm -hmm. I did my time. I served 16 months um, in Tutwiler, and the uh, work release program have completed my three years probation. How do I get my record expunged from that um, to go back to doing in the medical field what I used to do? All right. Right. Well, unfortunately, uh, with the distribution charge and with the conviction, this law doesn't help Christy out. Um, she would have to seek a pardon. Um, unfortunately, this law, as it stands right now, only helps people out with arrest and not convictions, the way it stands right now. Wow. And, and, and what about pardons? What, what, uh, tell us about that. How, how do you do that? How do you go about that? Uh, to seek a pardon, you'd have to do that through the parole board or the governor, um, and they would have to grant that. And, and that doesn't even erase the record. That just gives you forgiveness for that particular crime. So it doesn't eliminate your record even if you get a pardon? No, it would just restore certain rights, the right to vote or even potentially carry a firearm. Wow. Have we had a lot of, have we had a lot of calls similar to that in nature where um, people are trying to seek pardons, mm -hmm. they're trying to get it expunged. Have you seen that very often? Uh, we have. Um, and like I said, I think the biggest benefit of this law right here is is it'll allow people that have been in a situation whereby they were accused of something but then went to court and this record is still out there that haunts them. So I mean this arrest record is out there and they've gone to court and they've basically been vindicated. Now they have an opportunity to get the arrest off their record. Right, so that our viewers understand a little more about what you just said, this was very surprising to me to learn as an attorney is that if I'm arrested for something, um, let's say I'm arrested for armed robbery, for instance, we had a caller a few weeks ago, had that, and I wasn't guilty. That's still on my record, and it still followed our caller from a few weeks ago around. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, again, this expungement law is new for Alabama, and we're fortunate to have one, but this expungement law isn't the best in the country, and it has some flaws, and one of the flaws is it doesn't allow people with violent felony offenses to have their record expunged. So, unfortunately, the armed robbery wouldn't be eligible for expungement either. Even though he wasn't guilty of the crime? Even though he wasn't guilty. What do, compare it to other states, Brett. How, how do other states manage these things? Uh, other states, it's, it's a lot more lenient, to be honest with you, and they have a lot more mechanisms to, uh, to go about helping out people. I mean, we've just started now, so it's a good starting point, but, again, like you said, the people that are charged with violent felony offenses, even if they've been gone through the whole jury system and been found not guilty, they can't. That's just surprising. Wow, fantastic.